Sublevel 1, Dream Den. You heard it first here, or you heard it right. This is the second time in my life I will be beating this cave. What are we facing here? Orange bulb orbs? A crawd, a crawmad. That's it? Some dwarf bulb orbs out of bounds. Okay, finding a safe area. No traps. Cool. But yeah, as a child, as I've said before, I got stuck on this cavern. Uh, kill him. Cool. I got stuck on... Oh, really? Come on. Get out here. Get up there. You two. Can you not? Can you? What? Are they seriously stuck? They're stuck. That is... That's weird. Okay, well, I guess... I mean, I can get in the back. But as a child, I got stuck on this cave. I got stuck on the final boss of the game. And so, Nova and myself, as children, all we did was go through this cave time and time again, getting all the treasures, and then dying, throwing ourselves in a suicide pact at the final boss. Why is this here? And we did that m over and over and over again. And so, I've never actually really completed this cave. This is the first time in the series' history that this is relatively blind. There. Okay, you can not do that. Kill him with purples. Now, most of the time, I would say to conserve purples. Be, be careful with them, because there's... Oh, hey. Wait, what? How did I... <laughs> How did I whistle that? Okay. But, uh, I would say conserve purples and be careful that you don't lose them, you know, yada yada yada, things that we've done the entire series, right? Well, this is one time that I'm not going to be being that- I'm not going to be that careful- oh, this is- this is dumb. That was close. This is the first time that I am not going to be careful with my purples. Because... They are not immune to any elemental hazard, which makes them actually a liability. Because the final boss uses every single elemental hazard in the game. And so, saving purples until the last is almost worthless, especially because they can barely harm the final boss anyway. And so, for the purposes of this cave... For the purposes of this cave... I am going to be using my purples in a a bit of a new fashion. They're going to be protecting these four colors. If I lose a purple, that's cool. I'm, I'm fine with that. Because purples are now suddenly expendable. Are you on top of a tree? <laughs> you are on top of a tree, dear sir. Okay. Okay, kill these guys. And then all y'all... Purp purples are so OP. I mean, once you learn how to aim with them, giant groups, cl clusters of Pikmin like this are no longer that threatening. Speaking of threatening, I... Oh, cool. I hit him. Let's kill these guys. Uh, this one first because he's low and probably has the most Pikmin. And then this guy. I can multitask. Now, also, another reason why this cave was difficult to me as a child was because I didn't complete the... This cave is, is kind of a trap. Once once all of the enemies, all of the treasures have been collected, then it feels like you can just go through the entire cave and just drop in different sublevels, like you don't get any of the treasures, just bypass the enemies, and you're fine. But that's a trap. First of all, because they, they designed the cave around that. Look at the hole of this, this ca cavern. First of all, it's guarded by poison. Second of all, it is guarded by a stone seal. So, it's enough to just bring one white Pikmin here. But, it's going to take forever to get into the next sub-level. They want you to complete, or they want you to beat every single enemy on every floor, and get every treasure. 
and so that's what I'm going to be doing. Making this a little bit easier because I'm not trying to avoid enemies, I can just kill them as I see them. Is that the only treasure? I think that's the only treasure. Looks like the, the first floor is beamed kind of strangely. And actually, it... Uh, it's almost a remix of every single floor we faced thus far, which is a staple of video games, facing a vin miniature version of every trial. But for Pikmin, with it being called a Dream Den, it... You know this is based on real life, and yet this cave is, doesn't seem to be based off of anything. It almost seems like a, a metaphor for a trial or a tribulation, rather than an actual trial. Now, this I, it is kind of getting into dream theory, and I do believe that this cave exists in the series. I mean, it the captains are not dreaming, but as far as a development, yeah, as far as it goes by with development, it does feel like this is just symbolic of the adventure we've had thus far, rather than actually representing a trial we have to face. Disguised delicacy. And also, notice the treasure that was near us when we entered the cave. Well, actually, notice everything that was near us as we entered the Dream Den. There were toxic fumes surrounding the cave entrance. There was a mushroom, or rather a hallucin hallucinogenic mushroom, right next to the cave entrance. So, while this may be a real cave, I don't believe that it's a dream. I do kind of believe that, for another reason, which we'll be seeing much, much later, I do believe that this cave is not as we see it. Oh, I hear Gatling grunt. I remember this floor! Man, I remember this! This is, uh, in one of the challenge mode. Okay, so it's a stable Gatling Groink. There are some treasures... ...in the Gatling Groink and that's it? So we need... Oh, we need yellows? Oh, we need the most valuable kind of Pikmin for this. That's not good. Here, I'm gonna move over to a more remote corner. Right next to the exit. Notice this exit is not guarded in any way. Uh, yellows, I guess. Let's go face this unique enemy. Here, come here. Uh, you know what? No, I'm not even gonna leave. Pikmin, actually, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can we do this? This may be dumb. Can the Gatling Groink hit me right here? Uh, yeah, he, he can. Here, let's, let's use him. To, to defeat these enemies, uh, or not. He's a terrible aim. Boy, wait, what? Does he not hit these guys? Apparently not. There, he has to hit it with a direct hit. I guess these guys, oh boy, that's not good. I, I took no damage, but still I have to be careful. Be very careful. I'm mainly taking these guys out, not because they're a threat, but because they're a distraction! A distraction that would probably interfere with the battle to come with this guy. So, let's kill these smaller ones. Just so they're not in the way, as I said before. Please don't wake the Bulborb! Please do not wake the Bulborb! This is kind of dangerous, but I guess... Olimar does take half damage from, from, or he takes half damage now, and punch, he's done. Okay, switching over to the president, El Presidente, as we might call him, or call myself. Actually, I haven't, have I mentioned that? I'm actually the, uh, or I guess at the end of my college quarter, and I haven't even talked about that. So this enemy was really simple and easy. But, uh, oh, you're alive! D kill him! I didn't see him! Oh. Whew! I did not see that guy. 
He was well hidden. But I haven't talked about that at all, which is uncharacteristic of me to not jabber on about my own life. Also, I almost missed this treasure too. What am I doing? But uh, I have graduated from college now, which is a weird thing to say, considering that I was just start just starting, I think. I think I was just starting my senior year of high school when I started the channel? I'm not sure about that. I think I might have been in my say, freshman, sophomore, junior year, I think, maybe? Manual... what is it called? Honer. Manual Honer, an apt name. But I was just starting... Uh, I, I just finished college, which means I'm working, looking for work now. And I'm actually including my channel and resume, but also during the last year of... of college, I, uh... I was elected as vice president of our gaming club at the college, which is the biggest club on campus now over the past couple of years. Uh, we, we made it into the biggest club on campus and eventually, implement of toil. Eventually, towards the end of the year, I w became acting president, which was cool. So, me sa saying El Presidente, that I'm talking to myself. Hmm. You know, you know what, you know what, for the Dream Den, as being the last slash final cave, I am going to, I'm going to clean every cave, every floor out completely. Maybe that'll be a little bit boring for you guys, the viewer, but I think that I need to do this, because I've been scared of the ending of this game ever since I was a child. It's almost a complex by this point. I, I think about playing the game, I, I think, but then I'd have to defe defeat the final boss. Uh, but you know what? I am doing it. I am going to conquer my my childhood aversion to, to this game. Even though I love it, it's still an aversion. Okay, so we have all the carcasses, so let's go to the next floor. Sub-level 3, The Dream Den. Uh, this is kind of scary. No Gallon Girl- Oh no, 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 no! Where- where is he? Or where is she? Where's... Where is she? Oh, she's over there. You see her? Yeah. Are there two? No way. I'm not sure if you can see what I'm seeing here, but it's actually a bug in this game where we encountered it once before, which I didn't really realize that it was a bug until now, but enemies that are in the sky still technically have a, a presence. There is a bull warp standing over there. It just has no, or a, a bull bear, it just has no hit detection. So it can't be hit, it can't hit people, and you can't bump into it. But it is present there, so it would make ripples in the water, and it would also cause dwarf bull bears to follow her. And I think there might be two bull bears over there. Thankfully that means they won't be wandering around, but it also means I will have to be tangling with a bull bear, so... Okay, I have yellows in my squad, that's good. I am going to go in the opposite direction first, be very careful of traps, since obviously this game is not afraid to spring a bull bear trap on it, of all things. I didn't notice that. He guys, he goes googly-eyed when you hit him on the the head like that, or when you squish him, and then he, his eyes roll into his head. That's a nice touch for 2004 Nintendo. Man, these Nintendo for the GameCube is was so far ahead of their time. I mean, first of all, the GameCube was the most powerful console of its generation, by far. And the only reason why it didn't look as good as the Wii was- Bit of lag there, as I talk about power. The only reason why it didn't look as good as the Wii was because it, its graphics card didn't or wasn't able to fully optimize or it wasn't able to be fully optimized by the the uh, processor, and so it it didn't look as good as it could have, even though it looks amazing. 
So it was really far ahead of its time. And okay. and they just adopted an art style in the GameCube that, that really worked well with it. Let's see, who should I take here? Whites? I think whites. A small squad of whites just to easily mobilize, take care of the traps, not necessarily fight enemies, and not trigger the bull bears. I'm not sure if there are... Hmm. Are there two bull bears there, or is it just a big area for one? That's, I'm not sure. Let's take this one out. Take him out. Come on. Kill him. Yes. And now get out of the way. I normally don't like fighting with whites, but when I need to be quick. Oh, no, no, no. Here, let's see if we can use this. Get over here, get over here. Yeah, die. Cool. Just play it smart. Nope, nope, get out of the way. See, what I need to do is I... Oh, hello, trap. I can't let this guy throw his bomb or else it'll be right next to him when he lands. What I need... Yeah, that's what I need to happen. There. Let's do that. And swarm this guy. Oh, no, 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 no. Kill him! Yes! Whew! That, that, worked, that worked out, uh, well. Now we just have to fight, face the bull bear. One, two, three. Switch over to Olimar, grab the main group. There's no treasure over here. Nothing. One of those, another one of those weird layouts where things just don't really make sense. Why? These traps are different. These traps are different from anything we've seen before. We stood there before with the Pikmin, and yet then... Then, when our entire squad was there, it triggered. What? What? It's a weird trap. It's almost like, periodically, the game spawns a new one. Alright, so, which way are we- Ugh! Also, look at that! They're, they're sequenced. Huh. That's kind of new. Okay, so let's- Whoa! More! Everything's out of the way. These are new traps. Huh. I'm not sure what, what to make of this. I need to stay on my toes. Hopefully they won't spawn traps on, on Pikmin that are not active. As in, not in my party. Okay, you guys can take that out. And I'm definitely going to be making use of... Um, Ultra Bitter Spray and... Yeah, an Ultra Bitter Spray and a Spicy. So let's spicy up our group. Wait for her to spawn. Oh! I lost a yellow. Okay, I probably should have... I should have faded in on that one. Let's swarm. Where's the bull bear? Oh! Pikmin, do not fall in that. Oh! Get out of the way! This was dangerous! Kill this one? How did I lose one? How did I lose only one? Wow! For a second, I, I was really scared there. I thought what happened when I saw the, the control stick there, I thought what happened was that, let's see, yellows, okay. I thought what happened was when we destroyed the bull bear, there were mittites inside of it, and I was scared to death because my Pikmin would have all run right in there. <sighs> okay, so let's grab that. Uh, you guys, don't you carry it that way, please. Let's take care of that. Uh, let's pr let's actually proof this this run, just to make sure that this, something doesn't happen that's bad. Okay, we took care of that. We took care of this. Let's swarm everyone onto these. And just make sure there are no whammies. No whammies. Does not appear so. Man, that was... That was a battle. That was quite a battle. I only, lo only lost one Pikmin. Now, granted, it was one of my most important ones, but... Eh, it's fine. Okay, so let's push him in. Oh! 
Uh, how does that affect the glitch? I'm not sure how that affects the glitch. Well, I guess we'll find out together. There's a GameCube control stick, which is proof. It is proof that the GameCube was new at the time of the apocalypse, because this is the first piece of the GameCube controller we've seen thus far, unless I'm forgetting something, which I don't think I am, which means th that the GameCube was relatively new. In fact, it was possibly in pre-production, which is why we only see one piece in the game. And a bunch of pieces of the, uh, the N64 and SNES slash Famicom. Okay. On to the next cavern. Let's try. We'll walk in here. He'll cause the mountain to erupt. Now how bad is that exactly? I mean, it's looking pretty bad, but is it really that bad? Oh, oh, it can go over. No! 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 No, 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 no! Well, that's not...